Mina-san konnichiwa, this is David, and, Mina. and I'm just doing a little quick video, um, for myself it's to um, play around with this new light box that I threw together, <laughs> um, just to try to give you guys a better view of the gunpla we're talking about. Um, also, I am just going to do a brief overview of the, um, the machine that I'm building for this um, competition, not necessarily for the competition, but I'm just building it to accent the competition and show, you know, some things that people can do. Um, also, I might build a little story around the stuff that I do here. I um, will likely be doing one too. Yeah, yeah, Mina will be doing one as well. Uh, she has some plans. Okay, <laughs> so anyway, I don't have a name for it yet. I'm working on that. His name is Ted. It's not, it's not Ted, because there's no good kanji for Ted. Um, Dan. So, <laughs> this is a, um, a little bit Delta Gundam, a little bit uh, Mega Shiki, uh, a little bit Easy SR, mm. and it's got some custom parts on it uh, from a few different lines. Um, so, basically, I um, have added a couple of swords for close combat use. Um, <laughs> I think the swords are cool. Yeah, and I didn't want to just do more beam sabers. <coughs> and um, also I added a couple of Gatling cannons back here. Mm -hmm. See how those show up on the final here. They take a little pivoting to get into a usable position, but, you know, that's the price of... Having giant guns on your back, I guess. <laughs> True in life as it is in Gunpla. Yeah. Also using the hands from the, um, the build burning. Um, because <coughs> they are more versatile than most of the HGs. Mm. They do more of what I wanted them to do. Mm -hmm. And also I had extra <coughs> extra build burning hands laying around. Right, because the ones you put on the build burning are the glowy ones. Um, yeah. You don't I, use I, the boring ones. Yeah, well I have, I have two build burnings too, so mm. I've got the extra stuff laying around. Oh. I'll be doing a little bit of actual customization and stuff on it too, but this is, I just tinkered last night. And so there we go, we have, oh, we have a couple of these cannons, these Gatling cannons. Had it on the wrong peg. Okay. And then we've got these, um, launcher packs up top and he has two matching katanas um, he has the easy SRs on um, thruster backpack uh, oh it's also a little bit of the um, the powered arms powerder <laughs> um, it's also used the Gatling cannons are from the um, the gunpla customization um, bonuses that came out um, earlier in the year during the summer. Um, so there we go. There's the there's the basic build I'm going to be throwing together. I will be customizing some of the parts. I'm um, gonna it will have its own unique color scheme as well. Um, I might also do some some kanji and things on it the way that the Hyakushiki has, um, just as a sort of callback to that. But um, hopefully, I, I can't see the viewfinder from where I'm sitting. Hopefully, this will show up a little bit better. I know a couple people mentioned during the Wing Zero Hono video that I went off frame a few times, yeah. uh, and it was a little bit difficult to see the colors. Um, so I threw together a light box. Uh, how did I, you make the light box? How did I do the light box? Because you can do this at home too. It's no problem. Well, okay. So um, actually, let me do a second video on that. Okay. I'll do a second video explaining how that works. So we have a couple of entries already. Um, yeah, we do have a couple of entries. Uh, we have at least one that's like in process. We've actually got an in-process photo of it. Um, and then we have a video that has um, custom parts on Anexia, it looks like. Um, and so we need a hashtag, I guess. Yeah, I think we might do a hashtag to help keep that together. We're also working on a little uh, website to keep it all um, 
going. It's on its way. Um, also, um, for the contest people, I might add a little bit of time. Um, I'm thinking of maybe adding a uh, maybe a month to make it a two month build period. Yeah. Um, that way, people have time to import things if they need to. Right. Um, and it just all around gives everyone a little bit more opportunity to do something really cool. Mm. Uh, not everyone has a lot of time, and some people it takes a very long time to get gunpla. So sorry. Yeah, so uh, I think that we will give it a two-month period um, for the initial builds. And um, yeah, we'll do a second video talking about light boxes.